The U.S. Army Research Laboratory kicked off a two-day open house by hosting more than 400 representatives from industry and academia to foster future partnerships. It's really about putting us, at, all of us, this community at the center of a network and forming an ecosystem that allows us to partner in a brand new way. This is the fourth year the laboratory has opened its doors to potential research partners with its Open Campus Open House. The Open Campus Initiative is a business model for building an integrated work environment with academia, industry, and government by fueling innovation through joint research and development. The access to the community is really what uh, brings us all together, uh, and that's the way we like to see it. It's a community of science, technology, and engineering focused on Army-specific uh, Army problems. ARL officials said the approach has led to a streamlined process for developing Cooperative Research and Development Agreements, or CRADAs, the business framework for creating partnerships with the federal government. ARL has facilities across the nation. In recent years, the laboratory has expanded its reach by establishing satellite locations in California and Texas. During the open house, the laboratory announced a new satellite location in Illinois. The Army's corporate laboratory also has a presence in Orlando, Florida, White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico, Research Triangle Park in North Carolina, and two sites in Maryland. But this is really key, right? Again, it's proximity that I think breeds trust. It's trust that breeds true partnership. It's true partnership that leads to true collaboration, and that's really what we're after. Major General Cedric T. Wins, U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command Commanding General, said the Open Campus Initiative allows Army researchers to be successful in their endeavors. You have to continue to be forward-thinking, forward-looking, uh, and being forward-thinking and forward-looking is done through partnerships, partnerships with folks in academia, folks in industry, uh, and folks in other governmental agencies. An official from the U.S. Army Training and Doctrine Command, or TRADOC, gave the keynote address October 18 at APG's Millette Training Facility. Ricky E. Smith, Army Capabilities Integration Center Senior Professional for Capabilities Development, told the audience that the Army needs partners in technology to modernize, but that there may be a cultural issue with the adoption of robotics. I like to turn to my infantry friends and say, hey, your survival depends and your protection depends on that robotic wingman, that machine over there. They're not real comfortable with that. But if I said, I'll bring your bullets, I'll bring your food that way, they're okay with that. They seem to be, so maybe the way we get through the cultural divide is through the sustainment side as opposed to the, man, uh, the maneuver side. We'll see how that goes. Robotics is just one area researchers are exploring. The laboratory has nine essential research areas which cover a broad spectrum of future technology challenges. U.S. Senator Chris Van Hollen gave the keynote address October 19th. I'm really excited about the possibilities that uh, this gathering uh, represents. When you look at the things that have been done uh, at the Army Research Lab, it sometimes seems like science fiction. This is the kind of stuff that George Lucas told us would be coming in Star Wars movies, and yet it's happening right here at the Army Research Lab and their partners who are bringing these innovations to soldiers and Marines uh, today. From Aberdeen Proving Ground, David McNally, ARL-TV.